Friday. These are gonna be my last days here in Amsterdam. I am in one way a little bummed and then in the other way also excited to go back to LA. Obviously I'm excited to see my friends again, be back in the warm weather, all of that, but I am really gonna miss Amsterdam because it's just been honestly so, so nice here. And I really start to feel that each year more and more, I just start to get a little bit more, I don't know if it's homesick, but just the need, the urge to like come back here. Maybe like next year we're talking about it, maybe actually going for the whole summer. I mean, now we stay the whole summer here, but then like actually plan it, so. She'll see. Anyway, I'm gonna squeeze in a little workout before the weekend starts. We have a fun event coming up tomorrow with Velo and Maneko Hama. So we're gonna do a cycling class. So that will be more like upbeat, like a little cardio. And then today I'm gonna do like a little bit more strength for my upper body. So that's the plan. Let's get ready. Also, I'm wearing this set from Elo. I really like the blue and I got like a sweater from weekday. Cute. Let's go. Hi, buddy. Oh, you're always waiting for me. <laughs> so I want to quickly take you through my current workout routine. The combo between weightlift and Pilates has been the best thing for my body. I always start my routine with a stretch. It is so important to warm up your body before you work out. I'm focusing on three Pilates workouts a week. So this is more low impact, one lower body with heavy weights and then one upper body with heavy weights. This way I get the perfect combination of building strength with flexibility and posture. Sometimes I choose for free dumbbells, but today I also decide to use a couple machines as well. I picked five exercises like the shoulder press and tried three sets of 12 reps. You should be able to struggle in your last reps, so you push yourself every week to become a little stronger. To finish off the workout, I added a six minute ab burner. You can find more ab workouts on my channel and of course on my ab sourcing body where I have a bunch. So then it's time to get food shopping. lunch or whatever after because I always get really hungry after working out however I didn't have time I had to get my nails done I had an appointment so to make it quick I stopped by a supermarket I got a detox bowl I stopped by an organic store I always like love the organic store and then I also got like a salmon so I'm gonna combine this quick and easy I'm hungry but yeah this way I'm gonna make sure I'm making a very nutritious and high protein meal to really fuel my body after working out because guys this is so important like your fitness and your nutrition go really hand in hand it is so important to take care of your body and to give it the nutrients and minerals it really needs so let's make food Ready. I basically have a Buddha bowl with spinach, sweet potato, carrot, a nice salmon for omega fats for protein, and then I have some beets. I absolutely love beets, guys. This is a rainbow plate and it looks absolutely amazing. It is 9 pm. 
and it's still light and we were having dinner and we realized or Fred shot it's his birthday today we are gonna go try some winkle it is in the best apple pie in Amsterdam. Old grandma's recipe, it is the best thing ever. So if you're ever in Amsterdam, you have to stop by and get this apple pie because it's unbelievable. So we're going. Wow. Child knows the camera eats first. The camera <laughs> eats first. Once, now he knows. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, bro. Oh my gosh, this is so good. 10 out of 10. <laughs> Hi! Are you excited? It's the weekend. I'm so happy about it. This week was very busy. The weather's been a little bit so so here in Amsterdam. It's been like raining all night. But we're gonna do a fun little event today we are gonna go to velo which is like a cycling class and then after we'll have matcha to celebrate for launch of nekohama at recover foods here in amsterdam which is definitely a spot you should check out if you're here i'm gonna in the description put some of my recommendations for amsterdam as well i know all of you are always wanting to have all the good spots i think we're gonna grab some breakfast somewhere and then we'll um we'll go to class i'm a little nervous about the cycling class because i don't we do cycling classes. Last time Max came back from it, he was drenched in sweat, so I think it's gonna be heavy. It's gonna be Are you excited? Yes, it's our first Nekohama event in Amsterdam, and we're gonna do something physical. And even Katsu's coming. Look at this guy. <laughs> get your tail, buddy. Get your tail. Get, get your tail. Get Go get it. Cutie, cutie. Hi, buddy. goosebumps all the way through like her energy the music the vibe it was insane like i wouldn't do a class like this every day because my i feel my cortisol levels are through the roof i don't think i've sweat this much during a workout in a very long time so it's great Javaria, how was the class what are you drinking i was drinking coconut water it was so good but we crushed it and this is her last bite of her protein <laughs> It's very good actually. It is so good. I don't think I've sweat ever that much from any I workout. I never sweat. I don't sweat either. Sweat. And I just felt dropsy. I can sit in a sauna for 30 minutes. I'm dry. Oh, I'm dry. Yeah, and this class. <laughs> <laughs> um, this morning and I brought my camera because I just wanted to have a little bit of a raw chat with you guys I literally just woke up hey Katsu yeah you happy are you happy in Amsterdam there you go um, the more time I spend here in Amsterdam the more I feel like 
coming back to be honest Amsterdam has kind of always had like a special place in my heart but also obviously because it's in my home country but also in Max's which is really interesting and I think he has felt very much the urge to move back here because basically of the work life not the work-life balance but just like the overall like, quality of life here you really start to realize things when you don't have them and i think one of them really is safety often in the us at night i do not really feel safe on the streets Healthcare is amazing you can just go to the dentist you can go to the doctor without walking out with a 500 hundred bill um it's basically free education and all of that i don't know i think we really see our future i think here and obviously this is like stuff we kind of have to like think about like far in advance don't worry we're not leaving LA like anytime soon at all we built a life there we have our friends there like oh my god I'm gonna miss them so much so we shall see how that's gonna go but like we've been really enjoying our time here it's been very nice I feel I've like find a certain like peace in me but I'm also very excited to go back next week and to just like come back into our routines and stuff in, uh, in LA but yeah this is often a question I get from a lot of people so I was like you know what I kind of want to touch base on it you know the grass is always greener somewhere else and it's not only with like places you live but I feel that's like life in general but you have to make the most of it right I feel you do have a lot of choices in your life and that can really reflect like your happiness and I think it's so important to constantly check in with yourself what makes you happy what are the actions you need to take to get there and really take that into your own account i truly believe that happiness is a choice and that you choose to be grateful every day and that you choose to be happy obviously there are circumstances that make being happy much easier um, like family being financially stable things like that but i really truly think happiness is a choice choices you make in life I like that but yeah I'm gonna throw the ball a little more the sun is coming out I love it and I'll see you guys later our final breakfast oh, are you like gonna miss summer, me? I feel like our summer vacation is ending I know it really is we've been here two months almost seven weeks that's his hair oh okay I am hungry let's see what the menu is I think this is a vegetarian place, it's called Factory Girl, so let's see. Oh my god, vegan and gluten free tahini chocolate banana pancakes, holy shit. I'm probably just gonna be boring and go for my own eggs. Why do you like Amsterdam so much? Because I feel like I'm in a village. It looks like a village, the people are very nice. And I feel like you and I have a lot more quality time when we're here. When we're in LA, everything is always so fast. I know. And after we got married, I realized that the bigger regrets from the first five years was that we didn't spend a lot of time together present. I mean, yes and no. Like the first years we were really traveling so much, but I feel compared to maybe people who are like in the office from nine to five. Like we do spend some time. We do, but a lot of that time wasn't spent present for me at least. It was always working, it was traveling, it was a trip, content. And for me, now that I'm married, I wanna make sure that I wanna make sure that we spend a lot of time together. Because it's something that I'm not no one ever regretted spending more time with the person they love the most in the world at the end of their life. They usually regret the opposite. So true, so romantic. Get, um, two sunny side eggs. Yeah, this one. Got two. And what kind of tea do you have? Yum. Okay, I've got two eggs, some avocado, some bread. Delicious. 